Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to the channel. Today uh, we're going to talk about how I expose C-Log3 on my Canon R6. I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials about the subject and um, I've made a lot of tests indoors and outdoors and I think I found the right solution for me. So most of the videos I found uh, on the subject on YouTube were making tests with gray cards or uh, external monitors and I don't have access to uh, those kind of materials because I'm always on the go. I'm always outside hiking or, you know, pulling out my camera out of my bag. And I wanted to use only what the Canon R6 offers me like inside the camera. So if you found yourself in the same situation as me and um, or maybe you're also on your beginning of your journey trying to expose with C-Log uh, 3 on your Canon R6 or R5 or R7. Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you uh, how I do it and maybe it's going to help you as well. And now, before we do all this, I think it's a good idea if we go to the menu and uh, show you how uh, we set up everything in the menu. So let's go. Okay, so we're in the menu right now and we're gonna go in Canon Log settings. And in Canon Log, we're gonna choose C-Log 3, of course. Uh, the view assist, I will always turn it off. And for color space, it's gonna be cinema gamut because uh, it's the best uh, color, I think, that the camera gives us. Uh, and then, the most important thing is, well, one of the most, is zebra settings. So for talking heads, I will always uh, put the zebras on 70 plus or minus 5%. And um, for B-roll, it's gonna be zebra uh, level two at 95%. Okay, one other thing that is really important, I think is uh, if you go here on shooting info display, we want to activate the histogram and we want it large. This way, uh, especially for B-roll, you're going to see it's a really useful tool. Okay, so now let's look at how I expose usually for a person indoors. And this is what you're going to see on your back screen of your camera. You have like all the, the settings everywhere here. Uh, you see here, I don't look at the histogram for uh, when I expose for a person because as you can see now, it's pretty much on the lower hand, like every uh, information that we have is on the lower hand because my room is dark. So uh, this is the, the shadows and this is the highlights. Viewfinder inactive, press any button to reactivate. I don't care. Uh, one other thing that I don't look at is uh, right here, <laughs> excuse me, right here uh, is the metering. I not looking at that because usually when you expose for c-log you want to overexpose at least one or two stops but in the case right now i'm um, i want to expose for my skin tone i don't look at all these information uh so like i said earlier i want to uh, see zebras on my face at 70 percent so i have a remote right here there's my light right here. you just want to see some zebras appearing on your face so if i play with the light a little bit you see now you can see zebras on my face so i just stop there that's telling me that my skin tones is now at 70 ire and in post-production i won't have to raise uh, the shadows or the highlights my skin tone is going to be at the right level so this is how i expose uh indoors or with C luxury. Okay, so now let's go outside and I will show you how I expose for B-roll and uh, for a person also. All right, so now I'm outside and I'm trying to expose for my skin tones. I'm in my beautiful backyard. And um, yeah, so the way I expose is the same uh, method as uh, inside. So I put my zebras at 70%. And as soon as I see some zebras appearing on my face, I just stop there. Like now, I think you can see some zebras on my face, on the brightest uh, side of my face. And also, I don't look at the metering weight. I don't look at the metering because it says uh, right here, it says like uh, plus 0.5 maybe. But I don't look at that anymore. I only look at uh, the histogram and uh, the zebras. So for now, 
I will look at the zebras because I'm exposing for my skin tones, but you'll see later, I'll try to expose for uh, B-roll and I will use the histogram because right now you can see the histogram could be a little bit more on the brighter side, but if I go uh, more on the brighter side, well, my skin is gonna be uh, pretty much blown out. So I don't wanna blow out my skin tones. So this is the way I expose outside for skin tones. All right. Okay, so now I just wanted to show you how the footage looks like once it's uh, color corrected on Final Cut Pro because on the previous test you just saw with all the menu settings and the camera settings, well, uh, it's a C-Log footage, so it's really flat and unsaturated. So here's my little B-roll, so <laughs> nothing special. Just uh, look at the histogram, everything is in the middle, nothing on the highlights, nothing in the shadows. So this is how I expose C-Log 3 for B-roll. So once again, I just wanted to show you how the footage looks like once it's color uh, corrected in Final Cut Pro. So yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any more questions, just drop it in the comments below. So uh, have a good day. Bye.